Sunday morning, the day after the return. I woke up before seven because my neighbours downstairs have a, well every day is an early start for them, but they're so noisy. Banging doors and very loud talking. But I'm still convinced that it's, the problem is the flat, not the people. Anyway, so I woke up this morning with a headache and hot flushes, which at least means that 10 degrees in the flat doesn't feel cold. It feels like a blessing. Because it's helping to keep me cool. Last night, about, was about half nine, ten o'clock, there was this bloke outside and he was absolutely paralytic. Older bloke, in his sixties, probably. And he was just wandering around out in the street outside, screaming at the top of his voice. And he's shouting, Oi! Oi! F*** you! You And it just went on and on and on. And if a car passed, he would try and attack the car. Even though he didn't know who they were. And then he decided he was going to sit on the pavement. And he went to sit down. And he rolled around a few times because he couldn't get his balance. And then he sat on the, on the pavement curbstone for a while. Oi! And he's swearing and shouting and God knows what else. And then after a while, he manages to get himself up and he makes a beeline across the road to my flat where I'm peeking through the curtains looking at him thinking, oh God, here we go. And he wanders down the path and then he sits on my neighbour's wall and he's there for ages and he's just sitting there rocking and staring at the floor because he can't do anything else. And then eventually he managed to get up and he wandered off wherever he was going and that was it. So it's always a nice welcome home. Anyway, so things I forgot to mention yesterday uh, about my my trip. I'm not with it this morning at all, as you can tell. Uh, even though it's like after 8 o'clock now, so I've actually been awake over an hour. Um, things, I made a list. So today I have one vintage thing to send which sold as I was driving home yesterday and I sold something on eBay so my dad had me going up in the loft while I was down and we were just putting up some summer stuff and bringing down some winter stuff just doing the rotation and um, he pulled out a box which had a tank, a toy tank that my brother had had when he was a kid back in the 80s and it had fallen to bits, it was all in pieces and I don't think it's all there anyway but it was an Air Force G.I. Joe tank, like a sand coloured tank and Dad was like, I was going to fix it but all the bits aren't there and it's busted and whatever and it's all in like spare bits, of, like a, almost like a kit <laughs> like an airfix kit and I said, well, don't throw it away. Someone might want that for spares. You know, if it's vintage, someone might be making one or be buying and selling the spares, that sort of thing. So I'll stick it on eBay, see what happens. So I had a look on eBay, and there was one guy selling um, the spare parts from this actual exact type of tank. And he had a bunch of spares, mostly the stuff that we had, but it wasn't, I don't know, well, I don't think it was a complete kit. There were some fair prices on there, I thought, oh, maybe this is actually worth putting on. So I put it onto eBay as a a broken but potentially fixable, partially almost complete model. And I put it on, having looked at all the prices, I thought, well, I'll put it on for 35 as an auction and then see what happens. 
and within an hour I'd had an offer of £45 for it. And we kind of hummed and hawed over it. Um, I said to Dad, I said, well, it's up to you. You know, you bought the thing originally. It's in your loft. What do you want to sell it for? And we thought about it for a bit, and then he said, uh, just take the £45. So with the postage, um, we've made £51 on some broken bits of old 80s toy tank. So I've got to pack that up today, and hopefully I'll be able to send that out one of the post boxes, but I might have to take it to the post office tomorrow. Um, two things I forgot to mention about my trip over to Dungeness was one, I didn't show you a picture of the dog, the dog is now here, and one of the other things, when we arrived at the beach, and we went down to the beach, and then her husband comes up behind me and says, here you are, and gives me one of those long um, grippers with the handle, and he's got a couple of plastic, big plastic bags with him. So when they go to the beach, they litter pick. <laughs> it's brilliant. So we had our litter pickers, and as we walked the dog up the beach, and we wandered up the beach, we were just picking up litter as we went. And it felt constructive and useful, and I'm thinking about getting my, my own litter picker now, and maybe taking it up when I go out on my walks, because um, there's too much litter in the world. So there's that. Uh, that's three things. One last thing to say, um, as well as being up in the loft, my dad rummaged through a colour box and said, uh, do you want this? And it was a clock. And I'll get the clock and show you. So, this is the clock. It's a little alarm clock. It is a 1970 Big Ben repeater. West clocks. But made in Scotland. And it belonged to my granddad. And it's just one of another bunch of stuff that's in my parents loft that's been stored away and then eventually you just don't want it but you don't know what to do with it so I have another clock in the house I have the carriage clock that was my granddad's which ticks at the side and I think sometimes you can hear it doesn't keep time at all um, but I like the sound of it this one does keep time and so now I have a it's a very subtle tick on that one And so I've got that in the bedroom. Anyway, so, um, yeah, Sunday morning. So I am just uploading my last video uh, up to YouTube because I'm starting to run out of things to upload because I've been away and not much has happened. Um, I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to get ready. Back to normal. So 9.30... I'm going to head over to Morrison's and see what I can get for cheap on the shelves. Don't have to do that in two weeks. And um, I have a double clean this morning at the business, so if I can get my act together, I will go over and start cleaning first. Then I will go and do the shop at 9.30 and then come back and finish off the clean. We'll see how we get on. I am quite slow at the moment. I'm not with it at all. Um, when I get these headaches, it just, just not with it. And it may be that I just need to get my backside into gear and get going. It might sort itself out. Sometimes it does. If I get the bad ones, they're on this side and they come down here. But it's on this side here. It's just this little patch here. So it may well just go on its own. Um, but the headaches make you feel rough. It's not like, oh, it's just a headache. My body feels fine. It's like takes out your whole body and with the hot flushes that I can feel as well this morning it's it might have been triggered by the massive drive home yesterday um, overwhelm can cause it um, but I had a really good two weeks so I'm hoping that um, that will shift by itself once I get back into gear so that's my Sunday morning uh, my early Sunday morning anyway and uh, if I get any Sunday yellow stickers, um, that will be coming up soon, I guess. Right, I am back.
from Morrison's and my Sunday clean. And I'm so pleased that's over with. That was a struggle. My headache did not go. The hot flushes did not go and the building's pretty warm. So it was a bit of a struggle, but we got there. Um, the building was filthy. It was so gross. <laughs> These people do not clean when I'm not there. Um, right, so had a little haul. Got a few good things actually. It wasn't like amazing, but I have pretty full freezers at the moment, so I'm going to be okay. I think today I'm going to do a big lamb stew casserole type thing. I took out the last of the lamb, um, I can't remember what they were, but I've got them, uh, two of them in the freezer. I've taken them out of the freezer to defrost overnight. So I'm going to fry those up and whack in loads of veg. Um, either chickpeas or actually I might do the lentils, going to whack in a load of lentils. Let's really oomph it up into a really nice autumn casserole. Now what I've bought today, something that I've been, that I have stopped buying, I've stopped buying shop bread, but I saw these and went, you know what, I don't care. Uh, these are Morrison's Tortilla Wraps, these are wheat and white ones. They were £1.09 down to 55p, they're quite big. Um, there's eight of them, so I think they'll be pretty good for evening meals. Uh, two lots of runner beans, stringless beans. They were £1.40, so what is a remarkably small packet, down to 42p. So I've got two of those. I'm going to put a load of those into my casserole today. I also got two bags of mixed radishes. These were 79p down to 24p, and yeah, you get a, a nice little mixture of radishes there. That'll be great for stir fries. Also got a bag of carrots. I have carrots, but they're in the freezer, so I thought I'd buy some fresh ones. These were 69p down to 34p. I also got some ricotta cheese, and I was thinking, I have those wraps. I could make some really nice wraps with ricotta cheese and bacon or sausage or something anyway so that's that there and the last thing I got was something that I've seen before but I've never bought and it's um pork sausage meat on a roll basically and I spotted on the instructions that you can freeze it and I thought this diced up really small could make a really nice little addition to a stir fry or uh, like a mini spag bowl type of thing. I mean, I just throw in anything and make it up as I go along. So I think that'd be pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is to divide this probably into four each one so that they're meal sized amounts of meat that I would normally put into a meal and then freeze them. And then uh, what I might do actually is keep a little bit out, put it with my ricotta cheese, stick it into a wrap. And I've got tomatoes in the fridge as well that I bought at Sainsbury's the other day, um, Waitrose the other day, so I might make myself a nice little wrap for tea, but I can divide those up. Those were £2.50, down to 75p, so I've got two of those, so that's effectively eight meals. And that's it, that is my entire shop. What did we spend today? Today I spent £4.61, and I will do the usual and put the information up there to show what I would have paid if I bought all this full price and what I've saved by buying it on yellow stickers. So that is it. Um, I feel a bit better now. My headache started to go about half an hour before I was going to leave and finish, before I'd finished the clean. And um, the flushes have seemed to have gone. But I'm back home now. I went out, obviously, and... The air was cool and now I'm back here and it's cool here so I'm hoping that will help me regulate my temperature again a bit. So I'm going to get on with um, making that casserole lunch. I'm just going to lob in whatever I've got. So I've got carrots, runner beans, I'm going to drag some other veg out the freezer and lob that in. I've got loads of broccoli in, um, probably some spring onion and um, make a great big stack of it and then I can box some of it and put it back in the freezer for other times uh, because we're in that season now and I need to have a look at what I've got in the freezer and decide what I can actually start using up because my freezers are so full at the moment. Anyway, so that's my update for Sunday morning. Uh, I'm going to get on with a bit of admin. I've got to wrap up that uh, those tank parts that I sold on eBay and I've got the vintage thing to, to do and then I can drop those off hopefully across the road 
where the in post boxes are we have in post every uh, I think there's even a DPD one but I'm going to just see what um, see what the best prices are for sending and if I can send them both out today I'll send them over later so busy day back in the swing of things and um, that's it catch you later it is Monday morning I still have that headache but it usually goes in three days so hopefully by the end of today it will be either well and truly on its way out or will have gone. Uh, this morning I've been out and posted those two parcels, um, eBay and Vinted, because I just couldn't get out yesterday. I was just felt rubbish. Uh, what am I doing today? Oh, last night I filled my first hot water bottle. It was so cold. Um, and I've now started shutting the front room curtains which I don't normally bother with when it's warm enough because I don't have any people overlooking in and I have nets which um, I put in front I just like not having curtains, I don't like being shut in, it's really weird um, but yeah I've had to start doing that just to keep the front room a bit cosy and with a hot water bottle, I was absolutely fine. It was all I needed just to take the edge off it. Um, so today I am selling a couple of things which are the prelude to a project I'm hoping to start within the next week or so. And I am selling my road bike and the turbo trainer that I bought for it back in 2020 when we were in lockdown so that I could convert my bike into... A exercise bike and have it up in my flat which was great when we were all shut in and I did use it for a bit in 2020 but it's not really my thing and it's too big to leave up so it means every time you finish with it you've got to put it away it's a pain in the backside I don't have the space for a full-size bike just to sit out permanently and I don't like it I don't enjoy it um, I'm not really into cycling anyway, and even when I went to the gym, I hated the bikes. I went for the, the, the treadmills more than anything. Um, so I'm selling it all. Um, I'm going to put it on low just to get rid of it. The turbo trainer alone is over 8 kilograms in weight, so there's the postage. And I'm going to put it on really low just to get rid of it. Um, it's not in perfect nick anymore, it'll be fine. The bike, I don't know. It's going to have to be collection only. I didn't actually pay for the bike. It was something I adopted in 2018 when I um, left my studio in town. Uh, I was given a bike that nobody wanted. And it's a great bike, but as I've said before, I'm not a cyclist. I find cycling on the roads really dangerous. When I got it, I cycled the canal towpaths, um, which was great, but I'm going to be doing that all the time. I can't get it on or in my car because my car is too small and I don't have a bike rack, so I can't even take it out onto trails and use it there. So it's pointless me having it. It's For the most of the last six years, it's been on its end behind my front room door and there you can see it that's pretty much where it's lived because I have nowhere else to keep it and I kept saying yeah maybe I'll use it maybe I'll use it it's a good bike um, but no nah, it's not going to happen is it so I might as well get rid of it and then anything I make from that I can put towards the new project that I am going to be doing um, which I'm saving for another time I'm going to do a whole series of videos about that because I think it warrants it so that's today. Um, I forgot to show you my lovely casserole lunch yesterday, which was really nice. So I was given some apples by my parents because some friends of theirs have apple trees in their garden and gave them a load of apples. And I've been given a few of the apples. So I am probably going to make a apple crumble today. The weather definitely warrants it. We're down to about 10, 12 degrees in the flat now. Um, the layers are on. And
and I think it would have been easier to navigate if I hadn't just come back from my parents where the heating has been on every day. So I've just been getting used to reacclimatizing to being in a colder place, um, which actually is better for me. Um, I really struggled when I was at my parents. It was just so warm that there, there were points in the day where I'd have to go and stand in the garden because it was just too warm for me. Um, so I know that I have really acclimatised to being in a colder environment. So anyway, <laughs> so that's that. So I'm just getting used to that. And that's it really. Um, so I'm going to get on with those things. Pictures so you can see what I'm doing. And um, this is Monday. Tuesday morning and I've just got back from walking down to Sainsbury's. I'm feeling better than I was yesterday <clears throat> but I'm not back on top form. That walk, walk down felt okay, I walk back it's really knocked me out, my energy levels aren't back to normal. Um, yesterday was a bit of a washout in the end. I kind of rallied over lunchtime and the headache went. So I managed to have some lunch and whatever, and then about two o'clock, headache came back with a vengeance, and I ended up just unable to do anything. And I just laid on the sofa for a few hours, and I think I did sleep a bit. And then I rallied again for the evening, and then the headache came back about an hour before I was due to go to bed. So I woke up about five times last night, but the headache kept coming and going and coming and going. Um, this morning it's pretty much gone. I can just feel a really tiny bit here, but it's on its way out now. Um, but I'm not really with it. It took me ages to get myself together this morning. And about three o'clock yesterday afternoon, I got a text. And I kind of knew this was going to happen. So those of you who watched my recent um, Day in the life of vlogs will know that I've recently taken on a fourth cleaning client and it's only three hours every fortnight so the last one I did was the week before I went away so that means the fortnight would have fallen on the second week I was away and then I would be doing a clean not this week but the week after to keep it in step and I'd said to them you can either um, I can either come back the week that I get back so it'll be three weeks and then we'll go back to doing two or you can ask the agency to book somebody in for the interim two week and I'll carry on as normal and they say well we'll probably book somebody else to come in on the two weeks so that's fine so I didn't hear anything and then three o'clock yesterday I get a text are you coming to clean tomorrow and I said no you didn't tell me that you wanted me to come in at the three weeks I thought we were sticking to the two week rule uh, I said, no, I can't go. I said I was busy. I said I could ask and see if I could change my plans. I didn't have plans, but the problem is because I wasn't well yesterday and I knew I probably wasn't going to be back on top form today. And even that walk back from Sainsbury's is knackered me. So three hours of cleaning a three-story house um, was not going to be fun. And uh, I'd, st I'd still be in the middle of it right now. Um, so I said, no, I can't do it. So they said, well, can you come Wednesday or Thursday? And I can't do Wednesday because I have my other cleaning clients that I do on Wednesday. And I said, well, I could probably do Thursday. So I'm going Thursday. But there was no way I was just going to say, yes, I can do today. For one, they had three weeks to let me know that they wanted me to come today. And they didn't. And they thought that, well, we'll message her on, on, in the afternoon and she'll jump because she probably wants the work. And I like notice. I don't like things being sprung upon me like that. That's not how I work. So I am now cleaning this week, but it's not going to be till Thursday. Honestly, people really cheese me off sometimes. So that's that. Um... Right, so Sainsbury's. So I've been to Sainsbury's now. Again, some of you will realise that I don't really shop at Sainsbury's. Um, I don't shop there for the discounts. I shop there because of the nectar points. And I use two 
survey sites where I earn nectar points and you, you do the survey and the points one of them the points get dropped onto your nectar card each survey and the other one you accrue points and when you hit a um, thousand points which is five pounds you can drop it into your account and it always works really well so that means that by doing lots of those surveys on those two sites I can bank up quite a lot of nectar points in my nectar card and I've got loads now it's handy because if I can't get something on discount in Morrison's or there's something I want to buy that's um, a higher price that I know I won't get on discount I can essentially get it for free because I'm getting it on the nectar points so today there are a few things that I wanted to get and a couple of things that were things I would normally struggle to buy if I was paying full price so I shopped for um, everything came to ten pounds and seven pence and because you can spend your nectar points in £2.50 increments, I only paid 7p because it was the 7 pence and the £10 has just come off nectar points. So this is what I got for my 7p essentially. Um, I needed a milk fill up so that will go in the freezer in one pint bottles and that will last me probably the rest of the month. I bought greens. Um, what, how much were these? These were 75p and unlike Morrison's, I've got three in a bag. I also bought some bananas. I'm kind of regularly buying bananas from Sainsbury's now because as I say, I can get them for free. These were uh, 78p. And two things I bought which I wouldn't normally buy. One, I've decided to go back to using um, laundry powder. I've been using liquid ones for a while. Now I do, I try to keep my washing to a minimum because it's electric, water and everything else. Uh, and I'm not really hard wearing on clothes because I work from home. So I've been using a liquid one that I bought from Poundland. I don't think it was earlier this year or last year, I'm not sure. Um, and they're all rubbish, but I think a lot of it is to do with the temperature. So they all say, oh, 30 degree temperatures and all this sort of thing, but it doesn't clean anything. So I'm going to stick to my 30 degree and I've bought um, a Sainsbury's one. I'm going to give this a go. This was £4.75, 40 washes. This will last me a while, but I'm going to give this a go. I can't afford to do washes like my mum does. My mum's washing comes out lovely, but her washes are like an hour and 40 minutes. 40 degrees and then everything gets stuck in the tumble dryer so every wash costs a fortune and she's washing every other day I don't know how they managed to go through so many clothes um, I also bought some deodorant because I needed that that was £1.40 and again that was something that I got for basically for free and then because I was 24p short or whatever it was short to get the £10 on nectar points I bought a garlic this is my go-to one loose garlic is 24p and very often it's all I need to get me up to a limit so that's what I've spent very exciting not really not really a discount haul but you know I paid 7p for all of that thanks to the nectar points and I will put the the um, the logos for both those nectar point survey sites uh, one of them you just um, you just get on an app I think and the other one is through Sainsbury's it's called Nectar Canvas so if you've got the Nectar app you can get it through that or the Nectar website I can't remember which I've had them for so long now I don't know anyway so that's everything that I bought today um, I'm just feeling so tired uh, headaches I'm trying to come back again so I'm going to stop now I'm so tired um, I had an Etsy sale at the end of yesterday, which I put in the impost boxes on the way out this morning. So things are ticking along and I have some eBay admin to do as well. So that's my, that's my Tuesday so far. I have a clean this evening, so provided I feel okay, I'll do that this evening. And then uh, Tuesday, it's gone already. It goes so fast, I'm not even doing anything. Oh well.
Well, good morning. It is Wednesday. And I feel better. And I'm so grateful for that. That first day where that headache's gone and I'm back to normal just feels so amazing. I feel so good. Um, it didn't go until I went to bed. So three days to the hour the headache went. Literally as I was going to bed I felt it start to go. Um, so last night was still a bit of a washout. I didn't have the energy to go and do the clean so I've got to do that tonight. And that means I didn't go over to Morrison's and do a um, and do a haul. I am leaving a little bit early this morning because if you can see from this massive package, nine kilograms, I sold the turbo trainer for the bike. So that's one thing gone, which is brilliant. And I'm, although the post boxes, the in post type boxes are only over the road from me, this thing's heavy and it is tipping it down with rain. So I've decided to leave um, a few minutes early and I'm just going to drive over so that I can park outside where the machines are and just do it all in one go. It's just easier. If it hadn't been raining I would have walked it over but um, it's a pain in the ass, really. Excuse my language. So let's drive around the corner and do that. machines perfect so let's go and deal with this I shall be back in a second hopefully Wow, that only just fit in the box. I had to squish the corners down to get it to fit, uh, but it's in. I wonder what happens if it's over. Maybe they have other sizes there. It just gave me a big box, I don't know. Um, right, let's get out of here and let's take a slow drive over to where I need to be. Ah, oh, so it's nice to feel back on form, at least mostly. It's really annoying because, you know, a headache, you might think, oh, it's just a headache, but it isn't, and I've mentioned this before. It's weird because it is a headache, and the headache in itself is annoying, but it also drains all the energy out of my body. So I'm just like a zombie. And it also makes me feel a bit sick. So my appetite goes. And it does weird things to my taste buds. So you know like when you get a cold or, you know, a cold and worse. And your taste buds go a bit funny and you can't taste things. It's like that. So you know when you're well. The first thing I notice is that my energy level starts to come back and yesterday's headache took longer to go than normal but it did go in the three days. They always last three days to the hour without fail. It's really weird and I know that um, I know that some people's headaches can last a day and they can last five days and if you're really unlucky they're like migraines. I had two migraines back in 2022 when I first started getting the headaches and it was during that really 
hot summer and I think the heat and the extra dehydration triggered them into being even worse and it was absolutely appalling. I couldn't look at light, I couldn't move, it was horrific. So I hope I never ever get that again because now I know what migraines feel like, I feel really sorry for anyone that gets a migraine. Because that's just absolutely dreadful. It's absolutely crippling. So, that's it. We are now back to normal. Which is just as well, because I'm now off to do a three hour clean. And I have a two hour clean to do this evening. And then I have a, a three hour clean to do tomorrow as well. And then I'm free. So that is my Wednesday clean done. Their son died while I was away. Fifty six. A lot of it going around at the moment. I don't know, it's just because when you get older, obviously you lose more people because everyone's getting older. But I've lost too many people I know in the last couple of years. Bit of a weird one. I didn't know their son, but um, I have to say, she did not look well and obviously some of that is going to be because of what's happened it was a shock came out of the blue kind of he had a bit of a history um, with alcohol so i think that he was not in the best of health but his partner apparently died a few months ago <coughs> a few months ago sorry <coughs> And um, she thinks that he just kind of gave up the will. Anyway, so that is that. Oh dear. to Wednesday evening and from now on all midweek yellow sticker holes will be accompanied by dreadful lighting because it's dark outside. You'll be fine. You live in the real world, you know what lights are like. You'll cope. So, Wednesday wasn't too bad. I haven't done a Wednesday haul in a long time. So, now my bill looks weirdly higher today because I've bought a couple of things uh, some cleaning stock for the elderly couple that I clean for on Wednesdays during the day because they are now at the point where they are too ill and too unfirm on their feet to go shopping. So they get one of their sons to do um, the shopping but they say he always gets the wrong things. They think it's they say he's ridiculous, he always gets the wrong things. So they've asked me to buy cleaning products as and when required, so that's fine. So my bill looks weirdly high. So when you see the bits at the end, it'll just be the things that I've bought for me. So let's get the things that aren't for me out the way first. That is a multi-surface pledge and a floor cleaner. Let's get that out of the way for a start. 
What did I buy for me? Well, it's a mixture of good and not so good, and I don't care. Um, my appetite hasn't really come back properly since this headache, so I've been enjoying the fact I've been eating less, um, and now I'm just going to go ruin that. So we have here pork pies. Uh, they were two ninety nine for six mini pork pies, three quid, and they were down to seventy five p. So they're mine. I bought a not big punnet of button mushrooms. These were £1.14 for that tiny little punnet, down to 29p. Something else bad I bought, literally the first thing I saw when I walked in the door, they'd moved all the cookies to the door. So I don't know if that's a, a new regular thing or it's a Wednesday thing. These are um, oat and raisin cookies, a five pack. I haven't bought any of these in ages. These are so bad for you. These were £1.29, there's five in the pack, and they were down to 33p, and it was the only one there, just sitting there with the yellow sticker on it, and I thought, ah, I'm having it, and I already had one out of that. And, <coughs> what's that with me and coughing today? Uh, broccoli. They say they're large broccoli, it isn't, it's two small broccoli stuck together. And there were a whole load of these. So these were 99p, down to 25p, so I have four small broccolis, otherwise known as two large broccolis. So that's pretty good. Um, all my broccoli is currently in the freezer, so having a couple out will be pretty good. Um, back to my usual cooking routine. And that's it. One clean to do tomorrow morning for three hours, and then I'm free. And it all feels out of sync because normally this clean that's coming tomorrow will be on a Tuesday, and my clean I've just finished this evening would mean that I am now free until the weekend. And I'm not. But uh, hey-ho. Such is life. Uh, right, I'm going to go and sort all this lot out. I've got to do invoicing for cleaning jobs. So I've probably got about an hour's worth of work to go. And it's half past seven. So for those of you who think self-employed people don't work, I'm going to be working till half past eight tonight. See you soon. Bye-bye.